It's uh, getting, well, it's summertime here in the upper Midwest. Uh, It's summertime already in California. We're going to kind of focus on those two regions because that's where the predominant uh, amount of our listeners are associated at. But you will just have to tweak some of the dates and times to apply for, uh, in your area, for the second summer crops in which you can plant, as well as fall crops that you can start preparing for to get in the ground. So cucumbers are a good summer. So we're going to go with second summer crops first. Cucumbers are a good one. They are you can plant them mid July for a second summer crop. They take they once the soil gets below sixty degrees though, they don't do so well. They're Southern actually, California, you really don't have to worry about that. Right. But here's the thing with the cucumbers: they're not a long time crop. Uh, no, up in the upper Midwest, Southern not. California, you get a little more longevity because, like you talked about, the soil is warmer. And longer. We get a lot of questions from people. Why, why do my cucumbers fall off in September? And it's because the soil is starting to cool. The airtime temperature might not be cooling, but because we're moving towards the fall, the fall, sol- the fall equinox, the soil is going to start to cool. A lot of these plants revolve around soil temperature, not necessarily the ambient temperature in which uh, it, it, it happens. Uh, so next one is potatoes. Now, here in the upper Midwest... Uh, we can get another crop of potatoes in. We can plant early variety of potatoes, which are typically about a 70-day duration. Mid-season is about 90 days. Uh, now, here's the thing you want to be aware of in Southern California or in the, in the warmer climates of the country is when the soil reaches 80 degrees, the actual physical soil temperature, 80, 85 degrees, the, the potatoes uh, will um, shut down. They will die uh, because they can't handle that. They're, they're cooler soil temperature plant. So keep that in mind, but uh, based on where you're at, uh, you can get another, if you've got the seed potatoes. Now, you don't necessarily have to go buy fine seed, seed official potatoes, okay? You can go to your natural food store and buy organic grown potatoes. We've all done this, and about two weeks later, they're sprouting. Right. Those are fine if you can at least find the variety, do a little research and find out, okay, this variety should take X amount of days to reach maturity. You can go ahead and plant them in the ground. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the certified seed potatoes give you that it's it's safe to grow. Here's the variety. Here's how long it takes. Here's the here's where it was grown originally and all the, the details that the uh, USDA requires. So we also have sun, uh, sunflowers. Which you is can, your favorite flower or right. plant or, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can, you can grow those. You can plant more now. You could have plant stuff them a month ago. Um, you can plant them probably in about, mid-July. About, uh, yeah, about 60, well, about, what, 70 days, 70, 90 days based on the variety. And there's dwarf varieties uh, as well as ma- mammoth, which get 8, 10, 15 feet tall, uh, 15 inch diameter heads, and the dwarf ones get like three foot tall, 16 inches high. Depends on which ones you want to get. Uh, Mi Gardener still has a variety of those available at migardener.com. So then we have a zucchini; those take 70 days. About the nice thing about planting your summer, later summer second crop of zucchini is that you don't have the chance of the squash vine borer getting to them. Yeah, that, that's typically early in the season. So if we late until wait until late June, early July. Uh, we don't have to worry about that so much in the upper Midwest. Uh, Southern California, a lot of these, like the, so, the like what we're talking about now, the warm weather crops, and in the warmer portions of the country, we, we get a lot of downloads from Texas, Arizona, the, the deep south. These can all be grown again, like a second second summer crop. Uh, zucchini, corn is another one. Yeah, corn takes about 80 days, just depending on the Average. variety. Yes, you can look up varieties online, but hybrids are going to typically do better than anything else, and that is another option for you. Bush corn, beans. Bush beans, yeah. Corn mm. does require a lot of nitrogen, yeah. so you want to keep that in mind. Bush beans, um, those are fun because they take about 50 to 60 days. They're not as prolific as a pole bean, but that is an option. Uh, yeah, you can get uh, plant them in succession. Succession planting is a row or two this week, wait a week, a row or two next week. So you can compl- uh, continuously get it harvest because, like you talked, they will shut down after about two or three weeks of, of continuous harvest and their life cycle is over. So the regular planting will increase the production of your harvest all summer long uh, when it comes to that. Uh, And so fall crops, uh, now these here, based on where you're at, you want to figure out when. These are all frost tolerant to a certain degree. They're not freeze tolerant. They're frost tolerant. So based on where you're at, you would want to find out about when your last, uh, when your first average frost date is, and then give it a few weeks um, cushion there, 
and then plant these plants. So I'm just going to list them off, and then we'll go through them briefly because they're, they're you know, not all uh, conducive to the locations in which you may be at. So we got peas, we got radishes, we got rutabagas, we got turnips, lettuce, spinach, carrots, and beets. Now they all will take between 30 and 70 days to reach maturity. Again, they can all handle a frost, not a hard freeze. And with these plants, these are springtime crops as well as falltime crops, and we can plant them, and they seem to be sweeter when they get a frost on them. And we also don't have included on there parsnips, but that's a 100-day variety um, uh, crop there. But they, they, the sugars release when it, fr- when it gets a frost or gets cold, and it makes the, the plant a little sweeter. So you can plant these in the fall and the spring, and you want to plant them according to when it's best for your area. But just don't think that, oh, the summertime's over, I'm done, I'll see you next year. You can get another crop of these out very easy. And we find here in our area, Zone 5A, 5B, we're not as successful at growing turnips or rutabagas in the spring. They go to both. They get, as the days get long, it gets warm, they don't like it, they shut down, they, they go to seed. Yeah, right. We don't have... It. I think it's just because of how our summer is or whatever. But we definitely had we've had a lot of success in the fall yes. of those. As the days get shorter, the nights get colder, these plants thrive more. So keep that in mind when it comes to uh, that type of situation. So things like lettuce and spinach, especially because we had that weird spring with the snow and the cold and then the hot and whatever, all the rain. Lettuce and spinach didn't do well for a lot of people. We, we had great we, success. And, with, and peas, with, too. Right. We right. had great success with red romaine from seed that we mm-hmm. started. Yeah. Uh, but we, that's diff- that's yeah, it's, it kind of was hit or miss for a lot of people. I know yes. a lot of people were asking me, you know, my these crops didn't do well that I typically do in the spring. Join the club. Join the club. <laughs> um, I'm like, if, I'm not if we were relying on this, we'd all be starving. Right. Uh, so um, that's why you can try these again in the fall, especially this fall. And that's the benefit. You've got a second shot at doing this. Um, when it comes to if, if you have a failure, you can redo these again. Okay, so there's carrots. Carrots are good, a good option, too, for the fall. Loose soil. Loose soil. Please put them in loose soil. And don't transplant them. Just direct sow them. Uh, and I'm not going to go on the rant on that, but there's a lot of videos on transplanting uh, uh, carrots. Uh, it's, it, any root crop you try to transplant, you're going to disrupt the roots, excluding onions and leeks and beets to a certain level. So, uh, Radishes take 30 days, so you can plant them late into the year. Rutabagas and turnips, we plant them here, August, and they will be ready in 60 to 90 days. Like you talked about, you talked about the lettuce, uh, the spinach, uh, carrots, and beets. Uh, all our people try to grow beets through the summer. Some have great success. It just is not tolerable to no, 100 degree like, temperature. They like the cooler, more cooler, ideal temps in the spring and fall. Early fall, late spring is ideal for them. So, with that being said, just uh, see what's available in your garden. Just don't uh, put. Uh, just don't shut it down. If you got a spot, throw some bush beans in it. If you got a spot, throw some carrots in it. That type of thing. We'll for more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.